Okay, we're dicing up some celery, we're gonna have onion. Hey, we're gonna be making some stuffed chicken breasts and we're gonna be using stove top stuffing. No, it's not homemade, but it's simple and easy. And we're gonna add our onion and some celery to this. Then we're gonna dice up a half a medium onion. We'll get it diced up and we'll put it in with our dressing. Now, the way this stove top is made, you boil one and a half cups of water, bring it to a boil, along with a quarter cup of butter, it says. I don't think I use quite that much. But I add these onions and the celery in while the water's getting ready and boiling, and then I add the stove top to help the uh, onions and celery to be a little more tender, but with a little crunch. Now the onion and celery has been added to our stuffing mix, and now we'll get these chicken breasts ready. Now this chicken breast is pretty good size. We're gonna make a large pocket in there, and then we'll season it and then stuff it with the uh, dressing. Now this is a smaller chicken breast, uh, so it's pretty thin, you gotta be careful. Yeah, we make it though. Now we're gonna season it with SPG on both sides and in the middle. Oh, and I tell you what, it would not be complete without a dusting of Slap Your Mama. And we dust both sides and the middle. Now it's time to add our stuffing to the center of these chicken breasts. And I put as much stuffing as I can in the pockets of these chicken breasts. But not so much that you can't work with it. Now I'm going to place some toothpicks to hold it together. And I put about three toothpicks in to hold it together. Now this one's ready for the grill. Yes, we're gonna grill them on the kettle. Now we'll get this smaller one stuffed and get it ready. I tell you what, these are delicious. You know, the stuffing is just a stovetop stuffing. That's something simple and quick you can make. You don't have to cook all your cornbread or it's basically ready. Just add a few of the ingredients you want, like I did with the celery and the onion, and it'll be ready in about 10 or 15 minutes. Now we'll add the toothpicks to this one. And now, they are ready for the grill and we have it fired up out there. We got the chimney full, now we just need to spread them out and place these chicken breasts on. After we dump our coals in there, we'll kind of push them around, kind of spread it on that one side and get it ready to lay these chicken breasts on. And I'm going to take and uh, sear them first on each side. And I have a little drip pan on the indirect side. That's where we'll be moving them to. Now I'll be using the meat sticks to monitor the internal temperature of these chicken breasts. Now 
Okay, we have the meat sticks in, and we set the chicken breast on the indirect heat side. And it looks like we're gonna be running around 400 degrees there. And the smaller chicken breast looks like 152, and the larger one is at 120. And it says ambient temperature 376. Now I like to turn them on the indirect side. Uh, that's just me. You probably don't have to, but I like to. It looks like the smaller breast is about ready. And there it is. Now I remove it and I continue to cook the larger one. And it's showing we like about 13 minutes and that went by fast and this one is ready. I'm doing a double check with my probe and, and it's ready to come off of there. Now we'll get this one in the house with that other one. And get the lid back on and close the vents. And we'll remove the meat stick, set it to the side. We're gonna cut this one open right down the middle and see what this looks like. Oh yeah, this is, oh look at that. Chicken breast with chicken stuffing. Hey, look here at this plate. Now look at that. That looks fantastic. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing. I'll see you later. It's time to eat.